Okay, so here's that part. And I love the name that Alex uh, Lachance had uh, suggested, called a dynamic uh, multibody part. So it, it is a part, it's a SOLIDWORKS part that has uh, movable components in it, both translational and rotational. And it is a top-down design, so if you look over here to our uh, feature manager, and you know, you follow the, the usual items in here, but uh, the first item at the very top of the tree, uh, right after the origin, before any of the sketches and features that follow that, is my reference sketches folder, or a skeleton sketches folder. And uh, you see all of them. Man. We have a sketch in the, uh, you know, on the top plane, the front sketch, the right sketch. Plus, we have other sketches in here, too. One sketch for a cam handle and a top sketch uh, for the cam, too, which contains uh, various elements in there which allow this uh, to work. So if you take a section of this, or actually, it's just demonstrate the motion. So here's translational motion. Uh, that's for that tube in the middle. I call it a tube lock mechanism. And this is uh, for, the, for the cam cam lever which uh, kind of locks that tube into place. Uh, if you look at the top sketch or the front sketch, actually this is the top sketch, there's all sorts of elements in here that you could change as you would anticipate inside of a, a part to be able to you know get your clearances correct and get the parts uh, at the right size. They're all here in the part and you also have the motion uh, associated with that in order to make sure that everything is the right size and fits together. So if we go here to uh, section view and take a look at this, let's go ahead and take a look at the motion that we had before. And now you can see how this works. So this is kind of a simplified version of a part that I created for a client that, uh, you know, it's got, uh, you know, the part for the client's got a lot more uh, stuff to it instead of the tube, it's actually a rope that goes through this. But this demonstrates this pretty well. And the intent here is to be able to do this in a uh, YouTube video series and show you all the steps involved in order to get something like this to work. So that is what I like from Alex uh, Lachance, as he suggested, a dynamic multi-body uh, model part, perhaps, or something similar to that, similar wording. Love that word. This is how that works.